Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Champions League Fantasy Football. It's been a long time. I think last time out I couldn't create a video because I was doing a little bit of overtime at work. So yeah, it's been uh, it's been quite difficult to kind of create these videos. But I have time in my hands right now. I haven't done as much as research that I should. I'm a bit disappointed that I haven't focused on the Champions League as much as I do on fantasy football for the Premier League. So, I need your help. I need your help. Comment down below if you've got any good suggestions to fix this team, to kind of get really good players with good fixtures. Uh, I've still got all my chips, so I'm thinking to use it in, in the, not this round, but the next one. So, yeah, if you got any um, suggestions, let me know. I, I do really appreciate that. Like, it would definitely help me out. Um, I will try to post my final team after lunchtime or something like that. And, yeah, let's have a quick look. My kind of plan was to get the big boys in, like Ronaldo and Messi. And they just couldn't bring me the points. A little bit, little bit of a shock here. Ronaldo, Messi with two. Rashford with two, uh, I guess... You know, with even Paris having a lot of injuries, they still performed really well. Mane with three, Sterling with seven, Gundogan with two, and Song was my captain. I mean, I had uh, my captain on Rashford, then I went to Song, and I just thought, you know what, it's not going well right now, I'm just going to bank on that. And I did, and he actually paid off. This back line is just... I mean, I picked decent players... You know, we all know that Manchester City should go through Ramos on penalty. I still have Ramos. I still want him to do penalties. And now he's suspended. Oh, man. Yeah, it's just, it just hasn't worked out well. These things happen. I, I guess I should do more research on this. But it's a bit difficult to do um, research when you're playing another game. But I'm still determined to do well. You guys know me. I'm here to, to learn this game. Uh, to get better. And just, you know, go along with this journey with you guys. So, this is my team so far. Don't worry about Messi being benched because um, his game is like the last last uh, fixture. So, nearly the last fixture. So, it's fine. Um, you can substitute every single day. Um, so, it's not, it's not a big problem. Now, I have, I have some transfers here. I've got three transfers that I can use. I am definitely thinking to use it. Got to get rid of the players that are actually not going to be playing. So, like someone like Ramos... Maybe go and get myself like Alaba. Uh, and then maybe if there is some cheap option, maybe I'll go for that and start updating my midfield. The problem is with Champions League, tomorrow, like on Tuesday, there's we're going to have a lot of information. We're going to have like who travels, who went, um, conferences, all this stuff. I need to do a lot of research. And so things could change. If I find that Sterling is going to be um bench noise not going to be playing or stuff like that or rashford not traveling stuff like that i need to adjust so i don't want to make a transfer today but with your help in the comments below and with my research for tomorrow i should get a decent team um so yeah i think this is my plan so far um with my chips i'm going to be using it not this round but next round i think i'm going to just go for it and just have fun a little bit i think that's the the main thing that we need to do here just enjoy it as much i actually enjoy the champions league it's really fun and yeah in the league let's have a quick look Twenty nine thousand. i guess that's okay for someone who hasn't played the champions league and hasn't done the research i guess that's okay i know there's a lot of people out there that's doing better than me um but if I quickly look at these matches here, I guess we would expect Real Madrid to beat Ajax. Dortmund to at least score a few goals. I wouldn't, I mean, I don't know if they're going to go through, but score a lot of few goals. Paris is just, it's just an incredible team. Manchester United's got a lot of injuries. They don't have Paul Pogba as well. Porto and Roma, I can't predict that one. Manchester City against Schalke. Got to go with Manchester City at home. They're very strong. Now, Atletico. If you look at the first leg of round of 16, Atletico beat Juventus 2-0. Now, that's that's quite an achievement. For, um, Juventus is a strong side. And I reckon 
Juventus will beat Atletico at home. It'll be very close, but I don't know if they're going to go through. So, yeah, it's going to be tough, but I think that just because they're at home, they're going to go for it. And with Ronaldo there as well, he's probably going to be desperate to go through. And we've got Barcelona at home. Leon, uh, I'm just sorry to say this, but I think Barcelona is just going to win here. They, they are very, very strong at home. And Bayern Munich against Liverpool, not really sure what's going to happen here. Um, good draw for Bayern Munich. And uh, away could be tough for Liverpool players. So, I think with this team that I have, um, I should do well. I really want to upgrade some of my defense here, maybe make them better. Maybe use Ramos's uh, money to kind of remove Ashley Young or stuff like that. So you guys let me know if there's any really good options for my team. It would really help me. I would really appreciate it. And yeah, that's about it. Hope you get a good score. Um, follow me on Twitter, guys. I'll put it on the comments as well so you guys can see. I'm nearly hitting 2,000 followers on Twitter. That is incredible. Thank you so much, guys, and enjoy your game. See ya.